Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing a Taylor Swift love story look and I'm going to be using some really neutral colours and I'm going to cover these awful spots as well because they're absolutely gross. So first I'm just going to apply a little bit of Kiehl's. Now I got this sent for me by someone really lovely and just called Ivania and it's really good for skin and she noticed I had a bit of spot tr pop tr trouble so I've been using this quite a lot now and it's very very good. It's just a tester but it's absolutely massive. And I can't thank her enough for it. It's lovely. It's for soothing really bad skin. And I must say it's working. But. And also it leaves your skin feel really soft. So thank you very much. I absolutely love it. So just going to apply that all over. Just getting a good coating all over. Ready to put the makeup on. We're going to be concentrating more on foundation. And a bit of highlight and blush today. Because in the video. Unless it's my eyes. She's got a very neutral look. And there's not much makeup on her eyes at all. So we're just going to concentrate on the skin and then have a little bit of smoked out black liner and a very neutral eye colour. So once you've done that, I'm going to take a wet wipe and just get rid of the rest of that. Now we're going to be using a little bit of this and it's what I've been using on my eyes. It's actually my own and it's a shadow magnet but it doubles up as a concealer as well. So I'm going to take a little brush, if I can find one. I need a short, hard brush for this. But that'll do. Take any brush. And I'm going to get rid of that awful spot. And again on this bit here. Now you gently just dab the concealer on rather than rub it in because you'll rub it straight back off. Just get rid of any little bit of redness you've got. And it covers up brilliant. And I've also been using it as my eyeshadow base. Perfect. Now I'm going to take, a, I'm going to wet wipe over the top of it because I don't want any infection. So just take the top layer off. And this is vital if you're using it on a client as well. <clears throat> but because it's only mine and nobody else will be using it on it, it's not such a problem. I'm going to just take a little bit with my finger. And I'm going to gently just swoosh it over the eyelid to create a nice, soft, neutral base. And it's great for applying colour on top of. But because we're not going for colour, we're going to go for a more neutral look. Even more of an excuse to get the skin tone evened out. Now I'm using a different camera tonight, so I hope you can see properly. The Halloween contest, because I have delayed and it's all my fault and I feel rotten for it because I have been away and I've only just come back yesterday and I'm still quite tired, there was only going to be one winner. But because it's been my delay and I didn't get the results out when I promised I would, I'm going to be choosing three. I've gone through all the votes, everybody voted, and I've just counted them, whoever got the most, in line of order three. So I will put all the details at the end of the video on the winners and I will need your addresses. I haven't got my YouTube at the moment up so I cannot say the names but I've got them written down and I'll put it up at the end of the video. So congratulations and also thank you so much for applying for the competition contest. It was only for a bit of fun. There's a huge big bag of um, all sorts of kind of makeup, samples, other brand products, loads of things you'll see when you get it and I know you'll be impressed, I know you like it. But we're just going to take a little bit of that and it's Max Face and Body Foundation in N2. It's quite yellowy and because it's so, it, it goes on and it covers a multitude of sins but it goes on and it feels almost plastic. So what I tend to like to do is put the cream on first, any cream will do, just to help. This is just to even out any skin tone. You can put it on with a stippling brush or a foundation brush. But we don't have a real long time, so we're going to just put it on with my hand. If you're doing a climb, always use a brush. 
it's not very hygienic to use your hands but it's only me and it's only my hands for now now where did I put that brush I'm gonna get an extra layer of foundation but this is a studio fix and I picked this up in Macy's it's N5 and it's just a slight powder and it's just to kind of get an even colour going and also to mat down the shininess it's important you stick to your own shade rather than adding shades because that's when you end up looking a bit silly I've done it before where you end up looking really orange so this is kind of just the same as me so you'll not be able to notice too much difference but in the overall look you've got more of an evened out skin tone and that's the best now this is the colour I'm using and it's all fell through and it's champagne colour and it's by Lumiere and this lady sent me these ages ago and every now and again I keep using them because I forget how lovely they are now I've already got a base on and because Taylor Swift's got a really really neutral look like a bridal look in the video we're going to go for something really neutral just getting my brush ready I'm just going to apply this all over Violet and as you can see it's got a beautiful amount of shimmer but it's not colourful, it's very neutral and the thing with neutral looks is they look so different on everybody because the skin tones, eye colour the whole eyelash colour, eyebrow colour, the whole lot so when I get requests like this one for a neutral look, the Taylor Swift love story kind of look it's hard for me to do it and for it to look different because or like hers because it's all different on each and every body this way if there's a colourful look then it's going to stand out but if it's something really neutral and you can hardly see the colours as it is it's hard to make me look make, it's hard for me to make the look look like it does because it's going to look different on everybody but we'll, we'll try it anyway and I hope you enjoy it I've got a massive video to put up after this and it's all pictures and little bits of video clips of New York it was half business half sightseeing so I got lots of photos taken and I've got tons of news I'm really over the moon the palettes have been made I see all, I've seen all the prelims of them and I'm over the moon with the colours which I picked and I even wanted to bring them home with us and use them because they're that exciting but I can't because I need to keep them there to work on we're going to go over different colour themes and logos so they've got to keep them there which I was annoyed about because I wanted to bring them home and play with them I love the look of them and I just know you're going to love them as well Anyway, I'm just covering the whole eyelid in this champagne colour. It really is beautiful. I'm going to go right far up. She's got no other colour on her eyelid. It's all neutral. But because I have just got rid of some eyebrow and I've got a little bit of redness there, I'm going to get some white out of my case. Here, well it is. And we're just going to take a little bit of the white out the 120 palette. That's another thing. I've, inquisit, I've been questioned about making our own. And it's definitely something that could be in the pipeline. With everything you need in. And I think you'll love it. Because I know I love doing this. So the whole lot. All of your feedback on the makeup line. All your ideas. I've taken them into consideration. Took them with us. And everything's been discussed and it looks like lots of your questions are going to be answered in a product and I'm glad to be able to offer you that so keep sending the feedback on what ideas you think will be for a good product good colour, names, you name it all your feedbacks welcome because it will be used because I have a say in the matter and I'm dead excited about that and I think it will be good to get everybody together now I'm going to use some brow, it's not a brow fix but it's a fixing gel and I think it's used for fixing glitter to eyeshadow but I love it, it's by Barry M and it's a clear little 5ml gel with a little pad and it was came in a glitter kit from Barry M and I've been using it as a brow fix if you don't want dark eyebrows because hers are very light I'm just going to fix them and it kind of gels them over and really keeps them in the same place and it looks amazing and it feels nice, it's nice and cool so we're just going to fix them so you've got no extra colour over your eyebrow but they're nice and gels and in the right place I like it now, let's see we need some dark, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the still up convertible eye colour and I'm going to put that on my waterline 
So that's the skin part of your eye right next to your eyeball. Doesn't that sound lovely? And it tickles when you put it on. You want to cover the whole way in. Same on the other side. Got some amazing looks coming up. Some of them are on my channel, some of them are surprise ones, tucked in there. Fall look, Christmas look, and a couple of others. And I'm going to see what time's like tonight, and I'll get as many as I can done for you. Because I feel in the mood, and I'm trying to perk myself up, because I'm a bit tired. Now I need to find a liner brush. That's it. Take a clean new wet wipe and a liner brush. And we're going to take the black. I have to be careful, because they keep falling out here. And they bore each other smash because they're so pigmented, they smash everywhere. So take the black. Hi, yeah, I don't know what happened there. <clears throat> this camera is not going to be getting used again for that. So I'm just going to quickly show you what I finished off with. And I used MAC Lip Glass in Love Nectar and the blush. Just a tiny, tiny bit on your cheeks, just so it's nice and pink. <clears throat> and this is Stark Naked and it's by MAC again and I recently got it and I love it. So that's all I did and there's the finished look and I really hope you enjoy. It's really really neutral. I'll do some photos so you can see everything and I'm going to get this uploaded and then stick a video up with bits and pieces in. Maybe a bit of a talk and then another makeup video. Hope you enjoyed. Zoom zoom.